Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater. This is episode 2. So last time we saw a girl who had been disappeared get grabbed by a spooky water hair ghost. Then we met Yuri, who was an apprentice to a shadow trace master, shadow tracer, and she encountered her first ghosts while going out on an assignment with her master. And now we have switched over to the man, well, I assumed we were switching over to the man who had sent them out to recover the post-mortem photo book. But it looks like we're still playing as Yuri, so. I guess not. What's easy even do? Uh, it doesn't say. It's been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on a case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. A Yuri'd worry. Yuri is given a missing person case, something Hisoka forbade, but she's gonna do it to prove that she's capable. <laughs> oh man, there's a shop system? A lens that allows you to experience spiritual phenomena. What? <laughs> experience spiritual phenomena. I could afford it. I don't know if we need it, it says we can only buy it once, so it's a permanent upgrade. Sanctified film. Okay, that's kind of funny. Like, this is holy blessed film. Mirror stone. That's a res. Purifying embers. Cleansing flames that remove wetness and taint. Okay. I'm guessing that means we can get wet and it's like a status effect. Instead of a buff, like it normally is. I mean, I guess we'll buy this lens. I don't know, I want to experience psychic phenomena. I hope it doesn't only last for one mission. Alright, the second drop. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named... Fuyuhi. Um, that's actually a name I'm not sure how to pronounce. I'm usually okay with Japanese pronunciation. Fuyuhi, maybe? Himino shows up, claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. Is it the girl we saw disappear? Whose name I don't remember because I'm pretty sure she's not one of our three characters. Antique Cafe. Kurosawa. No relation to the director. So we run an antiques-themed cafe and also track down ghosts and spiritual phenomena. I mean, need a lot of jobs to cover rent these days, I guess. Um, excuse me. Hello? Um... I'm looking for Hisoka Kurosawa. Is she here? Oh, I'm sorry, but she stepped out. For like a couple days. My name is Fuyuhi Himino. Fuyuhi. I've been waiting for her to tell me if, if, if she could help me find someone. I still haven't got a reply from her. You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain. Mount Hikami. The spooky mountain. Mount Hikami. Someone told me that they saw my friend there. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? I don't know why Haruka would go to a place like that and without even saying a word to me. Don't worry. As soon as Hisoka gets back, I'll tell her. No, that's fine. I can't wait any longer. I'll go look for her myself. Huh? Come back! Now we're gonna have to look for the girl who's looking for a girl. A missing person case? Hisoka left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. Ahsoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. 
Thank you for moving over two rooms. <laughs> like I couldn't find it. I'm still nervous about standing here by myself, as I've never been good at handling customers. I have only just learned how to make coffee, and I've never actually served a customer yet. This is where we keep the various coffees and teas. Hisoka only buys things from regions and brands that she likes. These ingredients aren't for the drinks we serve in the cafe, but for the people who come to buy the beans and tea leaves for use at home. Refrigerator is full of water, soft drinks, and a few beers. Alcohol isn't on the menu, but we sometimes serve it to regulars. At the cafe. These drawers seem to be where the shop's receipts and financial records are kept. I'm not taking a proper look through them yet. The pendulum of the old grandfather clock sways slowly. The clock itself may be broken, but it works well as a decoration. Ahsoka said that she likes the rhythmic sound of the pendulum, and the chimes mark the hour. Are those two separate mechanisms? I kind of thought they were connected. There are various antique cans and storage jars under a shelf of coffee cups. It's an antique clock on top of an old dresser, next to another antique clock. Ahsoka has a thing for clocks. The shop is full of them. She said she finds them comforting. I mean... I'm the same way with the sound of aquariums running, you know, like the filter and everything. I love going into those places that are just entirely fish stores and just hearing all the humming around you. The road in front of the shop leads to Mount Hakami. It was built for the tourists, but the only people who use it now are the people who live here. It's a tobacco tray. It looks more like an antique accessory case than a functional tobacco tray. A lot of stuff in here to touch. It's a clock with a large bell. It's modern art! Cupboard is filled with cups that we don't use anymore. Bathroom? This is the customer restroom. Hisoka and I take turns cleaning it. Radio has been set out as a decoration. The tuner doesn't work anymore, so it only ever puts out white noise. Helps the customers fall asleep. She opens every door like she's expecting to be spooked behind it. There's no, like, fast way to open them. A book about Mount Hikami was lying on the bookshelf. It seems to be about the rumors surrounding Mount Hikami as a site of spiritual activity. I think this being, like, the Suicide Mountain is supposed to be pulling from the Suicide Forest in Japan. Either that or, like popular suicide spots or a thing in multiple places in Japan, but I don't think it is. I think it is meant to be directly pulled from the suicide forest that people say is also haunted because of it. How does a place become famed for suicide? As more people die, the place will gain a reputation, and people are drawn to these spots out of a desire not to be alone in the end. Interestingly, these suicide spots are rarely known as hotspots for spiritual activity. This is what makes Mount Hikami distinct from the others. It has both a tradition of suicide and has long been associated with ghost sightings. Then there are the so-called Maidens of the Black Water. It is said that if you are found by one of those maidens, they will lead you to your death. Those caught in the maiden's gaze never again leave the mountain, or so the rumors go. There are also tales of specters on Mount Hikami who relive their own deaths. Those who do not die in accordance with local practices become cursed, forced to relive their final moments for eternity. Many of the people who have been kept from committing suicide on Mount Hakami claim to have seen a maiden, or one of those looping specters, and felt a strong compulsion to kill themselves. Perhaps it is because of these stories of maidens and ghosts that the mountain continues to be a popular spot for those looking to take their own life. Book about Mount Hakami, the Deathly Mountain, it seems to be about the traditions surrounding the mountain. Mount Akami has long been feared to be haunted. In the past, it was said that sleeping with one's own feet facing the mountain was a taboo. 
Watching the sun set behind the mountain, too, was believed to invite forth beings from the netherworld. Today, the mountain is set to call to those fascinated by death. Countless rumors abound of people spirited away to that accursed peak. They are said to venture to the mountain alone, leaving behind no trace of themselves. Some say the bodies of those who vanish can be found at the bottom of the Lake of the Departed on the mountain's summit. How does a lake end up on the summit of a mountain? Since becoming a tourist destination, the prevalence of such frightening tales did seem to diminish for a while. Even so, despite its fleeting status as a tourist hotspot, Mount Hakami is yet to shake its reputation as a cursed mountain, a place of death. Today it has become a popular place at which to commit suicide. Symbol design. That feels like what you would write in when you want someone to put a design there later. <laughs> Alright, put like a symbol design here. Is this... Like... Hisoka's office? Not her actual room? The center room was upstairs, so I... think this is like a... An interim room. Oh, we got a little... Little fancy courtyard. a very Japanese house thing to have. This is bigger than it looks, though. Back door is locked, as usual. Okay, that's the exit. This leads to the bathroom. Ahsoka prefers a large bathtub, but it's too large for me to relax in very easily. I keep worrying I'm going to drown. Uh, is this my room? There's a clock on top of an old dresser. The face is worn and faded. Ahsoka seems to really like this clock. This room is usually used for storage, but it's been tidied up for use as a guest bedroom. I stayed in this room when I first came here. Okay, so this is not even her room. Now that I think about it, Ahsoka must keep it... Ahsoka must keep it as a place that the people she finds can stay in. I guess the missing persons, if she discovers them. Didn't think that was her main job, though. Now, there's also a staircase here. Hisoka gave me this room before I moved in. Or when I moved in. It used to be her bedroom. It's been a while since I moved in, but I still haven't unpacked anything. Tell your parents you're moving away to learn to become a psychic medium. There are some baskets and file cases on top of the dresser. Ahsoka set them out for me, but I'm not sure what to do with them. It's a big pile of cardboard boxes. I haven't touched them since I moved in. Orange light floods in through the window. Hisoka put this desk here for me. This used to be Hisoka's bedroom, but she freed it up for me to use. Really nothing important in here. Same picture again. This is Ahsoka's room. She really likes the traditional Japanese style. There is nothing of interest in here. Then why'd you tell me to open it? <laughs> it's an old Japanese style full length mirror. I've never liked looking into mirrors because I seem much more simplistic <laughs> in them. No, not the mirror. A folder reading lost items sits on the desk. It looks like it's bound by string. These seem to be notes on Hisoka's shadow reading cases. Client, missing item, diary, token, photo of the deceased, 
Details, locate mother's diary. Client seeks info on their late mother. Relates to a deceased individual, apply caution. The caretaker of the deceased had burned the diary at her request. Missing item, storeroom key, photo of the deceased, locate storeroom key. Item may already be lost, token and item belong to deceased, apply caution. Item located, had been hidden by client's parent, return to the client. Missing item, diamond ring, it's weird that she doesn't write down any of the clients. Token, rings box, client seeks lost engagement ring, requested fiance not be notified. Date of wedding soon approaching. Found on client's desk. Was in an obvious place, but somehow eluded the client. Client Ren Hojo. Missing item, album of postmortem photographs. Token, postmortem photograph. Details, reference material for a book about traditional practice in Mount Hikami area. Bad location, but minimal danger anticipated. Client is an acquaintance. Result, found an old building of abandoned inn. Shadow attempted to drag Yuri toward the netherworld. Should have gone alone. Must warn Yuri to stay away from the mountain. There's a book next to the files entitled The Art of Shadow Reading. Shadow reading is the ability to read traces of the past, not unlike the ability commonly known as psychometry. By following these traces, it's possible to find things that have gone missing or which were no longer visible. Things that are demonstrably there, but for reasons unknown are all but invisible. Things the owner wished for to be forgotten, things whose owners have passed away, Things that no longer wish to be seen, things drawn partway into the netherworld, invisible within our own. Such items can be called back to the world of the living. Unlike these objects, however, people who have been spirited away must not be chased after lightly. In many such cases, they have been taken by creatures of the netherworld who linger nearby. Utmost caution must always be applied. Tobacco tray which is also being used as an accessory case. The one downstairs, she said, looks more like an accessory case. An open envelope has been left on the desk. The sender's name reads Fuyuhi Himino. This must be Fuyuhi's missing person request. Maybe it could provide some clues as to where Hisoka and Fuyuhi went. Dear Miss Kurosawa, please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You do still take on missing person cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she was probably spirited away. Haruka wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is still alive. I know it, but something has to be done, and quick. Remember when you found that precious picture of me and Haruka? I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help once again. There was a photograph with the letter. It shows Fuyuhi looking shy and another girl. I think that's the girl from the beginning. It would make sense. Hisoka. For them she to be connected. Mount Hikami to look for this girl. It's a bad omen to look at that. Mount Hikami. A place where many come to take their lives. I'm positive that Fuyuhi must have come here. So I waited until it was pitch black outside to go investigate. Mount Hikami. Fuyuhi is somewhere on this mountain. I should be able to use this picture of her to find her trace. Alright. So we gotta find Fuyuhi, and possibly also Hisoka. I have to find Fuyuhi, she might know something about Hisoka. I mean, she didn't know where she was either. Okay, what's this big old building over here? I don't know if I really have to use the Shadow Trace thing, or if that is... Well, yeah, he didn't come this way. Your trace should lead me to her. Or if that is, like, you know, the breadcrumb trail to tell you where to go. Seems like I have to go this way. Game is really grabbing my hands and saying, no, don't go that way. Pool of Purification.
And like visually, I think this looks good for a Wii U game, but I think it it lacks mechanics as a trade-off for having this like non-pre-rendered background, non-fixed camera, free roam. But again, Fatal Frame 4 also had non-fixed cameras and still had more complexity than this. There's something on the ground. Okay, wiggle both sticks. That's literally just an arm. It's not even attached to the water. Sometimes a ghost hand will appear when you try to reach for an object. Release right trigger at the right moment to dodge it. Okay, so I guess you can avoid it, but like, is it going to come back every time or just the first time? A tourist brochure? I wonder if Fuya, he dropped it. It has a map of the mountain. All right, not super useful. This should be very useful. So this is the way from the pool of purification to the unfathomable forest. Got it. I mean, I guess like if we're trying to find our way somewhere specific, I've also heard that this game reuses areas. So I'm guessing, you know, we'll be traveling from point to point here multiple times. Is that just an item indicator? Is that what that is? I thought it was a ghost indicator originally. An old stone monument has been set in the rocky hollow. It's covered in moss, so I can't tell if there's any writing on it. It must be a memorial for those who lost their lives in the landslide. Oh, okay, I guess we didn't keep the camera. Something under the waterfall. Purifying embers. Holes that light the forbidden flame. They dry you and remove the taint of black water. The wetness gauge to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, you'll become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. So yeah, we get touched with the cursed water, and it makes us weak against ghosts. That was a ghost girl, repeating her death. I was gonna say we gotta grab a picture of her, but we don't have a camera yet. Pills made from a myriad of herbs. Consuming them will restore some health. We do seem to be drying off slowly, so you don't have to use that every time. You could just literally stand around, I guess, and wait for it to dry off. There's something to check here. The road is buried under earth and rock. Grass and trees jut out from amongst it. It must have collapsed a long time ago. I mean, she was just talking about the landslide a moment ago, so she knew that happened. <gasps> oh, I thought I'd let go early enough that time. It's literally just a ghost arm sticking out of the air. Okay. Some more purifying embers. Hmm. This is a lot of water. It's gonna make us very wet. There's something in the water. Well, I guess we'll go for that first, since there's nothing else around. <laughs> Ahsoka's camera obscura. What's it doing here? And some Type 14 film. Old film. It's not as effective at exercising ghosts, and it takes a long time to load. Stun lens. A lens that forcibly staggers the photographed subject. Press X when you have enough spirit power, so that's still the same. Man, there's a lot of shit on this camera. Get the switch upgrade. This allows you to equip and take pictures with different lenses. You can now use the camera obscura. Is 
So type 14 is our stronger one. Ah, oh, I thought I got both of them. Right, let's get a little distance here. I think it wants me to use the stun lens. Uh, where is my spirit power? It's at the bottom right. Or bottom left. I think one of them sucked himself into the ground, so he's going to pop out somewhere else. So I use the stun there. I think. The camera obscura must have been carried here by the current, and this means Hisoka is on the mountain too. But I should focus on finding Fuyihi first. She can't have gone far. All right. Well, before we do that, I want to see if we can go back and capture that ghost. Get some extra points if she is still looping in the same spot. Hmm. Maybe she'll come back later. I think I actually unequipped the lens, and that's why the shot was just a regular shot when I used it. Even though it used up all my energy. No, it's equipped. Weird. And then we can spend points to upgrade this, but it's way more expensive than it was in the previous games. So I'm guessing they're going to be throwing a lot of points at us. I guess we just keep going. We haven't really hit any kind of, like, locked door or anything yet. Woman on a cliff. She is no longer woman on a cliff. There's a fork in the road. The plants here are slightly different than the ones below the pool. It must be close to the unfathomable forest. Is this X where we're going? Trying to get to? Trying to Dolls. Mikamori Pond. Mikamori Hot Springs. Mikamori Station. Mikami Tunnel. Forest Station. Pilot Peak. I don't know. We don't really know anything about these areas yet, so we're just going to kind of go. Fuyihi Himono entering the forest. Well, that... I mean, she's not a ghost. That was just like an echo. There's a torn note lowing on the ground. It looks like Fuyihi Himono's. Himino's. I looked into Mount Hikami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot? Haruka wouldn't go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards it and disappear, alone. I read how it calls to people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting, she always opens up to me. She's alert, even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. But where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets and the more my heart starts pounding. 
All right, we're still hot on the trail. But I hope the unfathomable forest is not like the lost woods. And now we're just going to end up going in circles. The stone lanterns along the road to the shrine have all been lit. Oh, that was a really quick one. Was there someone by the shrine on the other side of the river? Was it Fuyihi? I mean, I guess you can replay chapters now so that if you miss one-time ghosts, you can go back for them to fill out your ghostpedia. I'm gonna switch to the good film. Let's see if we can get a fail frame on this one. I think there's another one at the bottom right. Come on. Go for the lunge. Taking forever to go for the lunge. Shit, that was the fatal frame there. I don't know if I got the right angle or if I just hit him enough. Alright, let's try this again. So, you just wait until it turns red. I was worried the timing would be a lot more specific. Okay. You can't just hide in a tree, buddy. Why me? This is what he's saying. Come at me, bro. Oh, that actually killed him. So yeah, it doesn't use film when you snap right after a fatal frame. Okay. Well. <laughs> Wasn't really much point in killing him, but he's worth points. So I gotta. There doesn't seem to be any kind of stamina on your run. You kind of seem like you can run indefinitely. Alright, now we gotta follow the trace. Because otherwise I think we'll get lost in this area. However, I do see something over... Well, not this way, but... <laughs> there is a this way, so I want to look at it. And the map says that there's something over here. Ah, goodies, hidden away. Small Jizo statues have been arranged around the air hole. This must have been a place of some significance. Doesn't say anything about the air hole itself. Sacred water, full heal. This one's definitely going to be a ghost. I have to, like, lightly hold the trigger so that I can easily let go of it, because normally I just jam that trigger all the way down. Oh my god, <laughs> now I'm holding it too lightly. Okay, just uh, some healing items over here, so it was worth taking the detour. And this is what I saw. What? Oh, right, because it's also the trace button. More film. Damn it. <laughs> Gotta wait till it says on screen, pick up. A scrap from a notebook. It looks like it fell from the sleeping bag poking out of the tent. How long have I been here? I suppose it doesn't matter. I'm glad I decided to do things right and come here to die. This place feels right. I thought I might get lonely, but there are people here. People who aren't alive. This place may be as strange as people say. I heard children playing just now. I tried to get a look at them, but they ran off before I could get close. Did they come here on their own, or were they left here? Earlier, I heard the sound of raspy breathing and running. After that, I heard a scream. I was scared and held my breath. I'm not scared of death, but that was terrifying. 
I saw a woman dressed in white today. She was draped in cloth, so I couldn't see her face. She seemed to stare at me for a while, and then left. Which side is she on, I wonder? Will she be back? I saw her again. She turns up every day, watching me. I feel her gaze, but not her presence. As soon as I notice her, she disappears. She must be constantly watching me. I heard a voice. A mournful voice, like screaming. No, like singing. It was a call of some kind, but not for me. Not yet. My time is yet to come. Everything I brought with me is gone. Now I have nothing. I like it here. Nothing matters now. This was the right choice. I'm glad I came. She will come soon. She will take me away. She is calling. I must go. A small tattered tent has been put up. I can see what appears to be a sleeping bag inside. You know, I'm going to kill myself here, but I figured I'd sit down for a bit and wait for the right time. More film. Type 61. That's got to be strong. New film in good condition. It is effective at exercising ghosts. So yeah, instead of having, like, different guns in other survival horrors, you just have different types of film that do varying amounts of damage. Waiting for another ghost hand to pop out. We need to go that way. But what's over here? I don't know if this stuff is missable. Like, if we don't pick it up now, will it be here later? Or if we have to make sure to get everything? <gasps> yeah, I was expecting it that time, too. It's like they've got you playing chicken every time you want to grab an item. <laughs> also, I'm waiting for the time where they surprise you by having it happen a second time. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, herbal medicine. Wow, we got 13 of these and you can carry 99. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about healing too much. Okay, I think I am kind of getting lost in this area. Clinging Mire. It doesn't seem to increase our wet meter, so this is not like cursed water. Game, you don't have to keep telling me. I'm looking around. I'm exploring. Stop chiding me for it. There does seem to be a distinct lack of ghosts over here, though. Rocks have blocked the path to the shrine. Maybe there's some other way through. There's a lot of paths branching off of here. I'm going the complete wrong way. I have to find Fuyihi. Okay, this is a map transition. Alright, now we can follow the trace. over here. I mean, it's handy to have this kind of system if you're going to have a confusing forest to explore. Fuyuhi Himono. Himino. I keep saying Himono. Himino. Looking up a tree. Fuyuhi's trace ends here. There's a note lying among the dead leaves. It looks like Puyihi Hamino's. I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone, I realize how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. 
I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. Fuyuhi has been here. I can use this note to pick up her trace again. Oh. Are you just here to spook me, hanged woman? Apparently. I'm wasting my good film. Oh. Well, this is somebody who's here to do more than spook. I think there's another one. Yep, over there. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the frame. Wait for it. Wait for it. He was teleporting away, so... Oh, there's a lot of them there. I am surrounded by ghosts. I can't actually tell if I'm grabbed right now. So... The trade-off for the changes in the system means you're now going to be fighting lots of ghosts. Oh man, there's so many of them. There's at least three. I'm getting those ghost faces mixed up with the actual ghosts. So you have to take one to get their little fragments to pop out. Okay, they don't always grab you either. Sometimes they just slap you. Seems like it's kind of hard to get a fail frame when there's so many of them. And if you're looking at the wrong one. I mean, the other games also had you fight multiple ghosts sometimes, but it wasn't that common. There's a full blast. He's down. Okay, now there's only one left, so we should be able to do it. So that was more ghosts than I was expecting. We went from, like, no ghosts to too many ghosts at once. It's definitely a longer chapter than the last one. Though I'm sure part of that is because of me... <laughs> ...examining everything in the antique shop. Yeah, it's going this way, right? This way. Hang a left here. Cross the bridge. Hmm. The ghost wading through the water. Swept away maiden. Help, I've been swept away. So, non-hostile ghosts also pop up with a white indicator, just like items. Find the light of this white film. Type 61. Or all of the film has the same pickup icon, possibly. So now we've crossed the river, which means there's more stuff to look at. Creepy bunch of dolls. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe the shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time, exposed to the elements. There's always a, a section of creepy dolls in a Fatal Frame game. Can I... I'm trying to get close and then turn around. Turn, 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 turn. Stop. <laughs> I gotta look this way. Really? Why is the snap mode so finicky? No, you can't take a picture of these creepy dolls. I wonder if it's because I'm too close to the wall. The doll wall. 
Like, do I have to... <laughs> it's kind of an alright one. I wanted to have her in the center, but like, apparently the camera needs a lot of space to... get into this mode. Oh. I was like, is there act- what? Does it just put a random <laughs> ghost dress? F12. So it just uses the Steam screenshots for this. Uh, wait, no, I gotta hide the UI. There we go. That's kind of usable. It's very awkward. Like, there's a lot of features to it, but then at the same time, it's restrictive in where you can activate it. I kind of hate that. The photo modes that are like, no, you're not allowed to take pictures at this part. Because some games are just like not going to let you take them in any time there's like a an animation happening or anything like that. It's like, nope. The countless dolls smile vacantly. door is shut. It doesn't look like Puyahi went inside the shrine. Well, then what is... Oh my god, turn around, please. Stop looking at the dolls. <laughs> she, like, doesn't want to turn around here. Really, game? It doesn't look like she went in there, huh? No, I want the note. Pick up. There's a page from a notebook on the ground. It looks like Puyahi's handwriting. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation. It was called the Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. If I even hum that tune, I start to tear up. Damn. She escaped me. <laughs> All right, she walked up to the door, left a note on the ground, and then walked away. Girl watching from behind. Boy watching from behind. Girl watching from more behind. <laughs> I wonder if, though, there's going to be a lot more, like, easily missable ghosts because you can replay these sections. If you're like, oh, you want to get all those ghosts, you gotta keep redoing these. Am I even going the right way? I am. Instinctively going the right way. Sacred water. Oh. Another sparkle over here. That's on the other side of the river. Nope. Maybe it's not. I got a bad feeling about this one. Oh, never mind. Hello? Alright, load the better film. Uh, there is another one behind me, I think. No, there's just two together. Yeah, I thought you could sneak up on me, eh, fucker? Oh, there's another one. Blast all those. Okay, she's in front, so I should be able to get her first. Or she's just going to stop before hitting me. Whoa! They really like having these multi-goat fights. I just want to fatal frame somebody. They're not even giving me the chance. They're just like, I'm just going to walk up to you and stare at you. And then one of the other ones will attack you from behind.
I'm so sorry I ghosted out on you. We're even, like, finding multiple herbal medicine at once. Okay, we want to go this way now. I also got lost during that fight. <laughs> I just kept backing away. Okay, this is the right way, right? Yep, hang on left here. And then a right that I didn't even see. And then here. That's a weird sound. <laughs> Pushed woman. That doesn't look like suicide. Come on, hurry up. You're taking too long to kill yourself. It's my turn. Shove. There's a slip of paper on the ground. It looks like something's written on it. I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. Unless you're wealthy, then it's about misery and suffering being inflicted on other people. And then complaining that nobody likes you because you're a miserable piece of shit. Fuyuhi! Fuyuhi, come here. I've come to rescue you. From Fuyuhi. the ghost call. Haruka. She's here on the mountain. Have you seen her? No, but she's here. I'm like pretty sure. I, I have to find her. <gasps> Haruka might have become another maiden of black water calling out to her friend now. If she was indeed the girl at the beginning, I honestly don't remember what her name was. It's a little fucked up being like, the five of us are going to drown together. We have to make sure we weigh each other down, otherwise some of us will float back up. Like, that doesn't seem like the most practical method of suicide, you know? It'd be different if they weighed themselves down. Hey, I'll go and look for Haruka. Let's go back. Oh. I'm going to take you all the way back to the antique store. Oh, please don't make me take her all the way back. It's making me take her all the way back. <laughs> oh, come on, Fuyi. Alone in a place like this. I don't know if this game saves when you're not at the end of a chapter. Okay, well, it shouldn't be too hard to actually get out of here. Okay, well, hold that thought. <laughs> That'll be a good memory for you later.
Got a good picture of his feet after that. Portrait. Sorry, I had to make sure you weren't a ghost or possessed or anything. Anyway. Like I was saying, this should be easy to get out. <laughs> This is not the way across. We gotta go back to the bridge. Uh, this doesn't actually seem to do anything right now. Fuyuhi. God damn it, Fuyuhi, we're supposed to be escaping. Oh no, quick children ghosts. My worst nightmare. Oh. Oh, that was perfect. I could have hit all three of them. There we go. That was a good fatal blast. No, I didn't even finish him off. It truly was fatal. I like how they stop and, like, think about it. Oh, like, oh, wait, I've run out of health. Let me die now. <laughs> Couldn't tell what sound they were making, but I guess that was marbles. Okay. My trace thing is not doing anything right now, I think, because we don't have anything we're tracking. But you, he, you were already here. Stop. Aruka, she's here. I need to get Fuyuhi out of here. She's crazy. I'm not going to listen to anything she says. Come on, girl. Okay. I think the bridge was this way, and then we have to go around. I see it. Something on the riverbank. Definitely going to be an arm. Nope. Oh, there's Hisoka. She's like, oh shit, there's so many ghosts here. Girl, what are you doing here? Don't worry, it's just a quick dip. She was spirited away. Fuyuhi, where are you? We got distracted by the ghost visions, and now we lost the person we're supposed to be saving. Close your eyes. Oh, this was Hisoka's favorite. You must have been carried here by the river, just like the camera obscura. You got the evade upgrade. This allows you to detect threats capable of being dodged. Hui he isn't here. I have to find her. Okay. Objective updated. We are getting very rapidly wet. Cursed rain. Now I wonder, can I... Can I save here? It says reload last checkpoint. So... Okay, it says last save one minute ago. So yeah, we can end an episode here. I wasn't sure if we could end mid-episode, but it seems like some of these chapters are pretty long. So, thank you for joining me for another part of Fatal Frame Made in Blackwater. It seems alright so far, like I'm not hating it. It's different from the other Fatal Frames, but I don't know if that's a bad thing just yet. We'll have to get further in and see how repetitive it gets with these sections and stuff, and if the ghosts do anything interesting. So, until next time, you folks all take care.